aggressions and targeting civilians in the Gaza Strip, and the Israeli occupation forces continue violations of international humanitarian law. We stress the necessity to stop this war and this forced displacement and create the conditions to restore stability and achieve peace. The Kingdom and the African countries support all efforts aiming for achieving security and stability. In this context, we welcome the resumption of talks in Jeddah between the representatives of the two sides of the crisis in the Republic of Sudan. We hope that dialogue will be the foundation to preserve the Republic of Sudan's unity and its security and its capabilities. Excellencies, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia provided more than $45 billion to support development and humanitarian projects. And in 54 African countries, also King Salman Humanitarian Aid and Relief Center provided provided more than $450 million in, 60, in 46 African countries. In the kingdom, we are determined to develop cooperation and partnership relations with African countries and enhance the fields of trade and integration. With this in mind, we are pleased to announce the launching of the development initiative of the custodian of the two holy mosques in Africa through the inauguration of development projects and programs with an amount that exceeds one billion dollars for 10 years. We also look forward to injecting new Saudi investments in different sectors with an amount that exceeds 25 billion dollars of financing and securing 10 billion dollars for of exports as well as providing five billion dollars as additional development funding for Africa till 2030. The kingdom will also increase the number of its embassies in, in to more than 40. The kingdom of Saudi Arabia was one of the first countries to, to provide its support for the African Union to have a permanent membership in the G20 out of its belief in the role of the African countries. The Kingdom was keen on supporting innovative solutions to treat the debts of the African countries through its G20 presidency in 2020. The Kingdom worked on launching the Debt Service Suspension Initiative for the low-income countries during the pandemic and the common framework for the debt treatment and its restructuring in a number of African countries. The Kingdom supports sustainable development and it always emphasizes the rights of countries to develop their resources and capabilities. We renew our commitment to the security of energy supplies and sustainability while benefiting from all energy sources and developing clean fuels, technology solutions and systems, as well as providing food to more than seven, 750 millions in Africa. 